We have now had a look at Meghan Markle's first product to be released from American Riviera Orchard. And oof, tacky and basic doesn't even begin to cover it. up everyone it's me Steph the Alter Nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this madness shall we because Megzi has unveiled her first product from American Riviera Orchard and it's strawberry charm Yep, uh, and she sent it to influencers, including fashion designer Tracy Robbins and Argentine socialite Delfina Balquian. If I mispronounce that, I apologise. And so, yeah, who is Tracy Robbins? Well, lo and behold, her husband is Paramount boss Brian Robbins, who just happened to bump into Hazard and Megzi back in January for that Bob Marley film premiere. And who is Delfina, you may ask? Well, yeah, she's the wife partner of Nacho, Prince Hazard's alleged right-hand man and polo game buddy. Yeah, close circles indeed, right? Uh, Sussex Squad, I'm just asking for a friend. Did you receive Megs's jam? I don't think so. But yeah, people are reporting as well that they understand that Megzi will officially launch a new lifestyle brand later in the spring. I mean, it's already launched, so what the douche, right? But yeah, here are the first pictures, the first look uh, at Megzi's first launch product from American Riviera Orchard. Uh, and as you can see here, um, they are numbered out of 50 in terms of this first batch that was released to these influencers and famous people and the elite, essentially. I'm just asking again for a friend, who got number one and who got number 50? Do you think Megzi was sending these out in order of how important she thinks her friends or people are? Again, just asking for a friend. Uh, but here is designer Tracy Robbins showing off her strawberry jam from Megzi. Uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner just got a little sweeter. But you may notice, um, yeah, tacky, basic, cheap packaging i mean look at this here like the 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 sticker can't even stick on it can't even stay sticked on on this jar like what the hell right and what's this here with the frayed edgings and everything it 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 looks tacky. It looks basic. It doesn't look swish. It doesn't look high grade whatsoever. And again, look at the logo. Look at the titling. Look at the colouring. There's not much of a contrast for me to really clearly see the logo and the lettering. It's just an absolute hot mess. Uh, here we are again. Uh, another picture from Tracy Robbins. And you can see here it's a lot more prominent, right? The label can't even stay sticked on. It can't even be bothered. Like Megzi, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? Tacky, basic, and cheap. Uh, here's Delfina, Nacho's partner, wife, saying, and I love your jam, American Riviera Orchard. Of course, she's going to say that. The friends, fair play, she's supporting. I get that, right? But see where the thumb's at? So where... For Tracy Robbins, the label can't stay sticked on, right? Yeah, Delphine, I think, might be making sure that that label stays sticked on no matter what, right? <laughs> uh, and here we go again. Uh, she's opened it up. She's trying some of the jam with the strawberries there. And that looks like some green, icky smoothie juice situation going on there. Yeah. Yum, yum, guys. Yum, yum. And of course, yes, the internet had something to say about all of this. So I'm going to go through some of the favourites that stuck out to me. Uh, starting off with, yes, my good friend, The Royal Rogue. If you're not subscribed to him on YouTube, get it done now. And he makes a really, really good point about this numbering system. So he's saying that the numbering on the jams isn't actually for exclusivity. It's for de detecting any leaks 
all unauthorized users outside the loosely picked by the sausage justice. So he says, look, if for one of those jars fell on my hands, the person it was sent to according to the number would then be blacklisted. Now, that is an insane amount of control that Megs is trying to impose upon these people, right? Uh, and then we've got Megan Small, another one of my great friends. If you're not subscribed to her on YouTube, get that done now. Um, making the same point as I really made earlier on saying, look, she only sent a jam, it seems, to uber-wealthy folks in the Los Angeles area. No jam for any of her faithful squaddies. I wonder if a fan base have figured it out. Megzy doesn't F with you bottom-dwelling peasants. Nah, she don't. She don't. Hate to break the bad news, Sussex Squad. Actually, no, I love to break the bad news to the Sussex Squad. Uh, absolute morons that they are. Uh, now, here we've got our Ivy, uh, 93127475, saying, you know, this brand launched four weeks ago, uh, and apparently the first products went only to the elite. So there's a lot more out here uh, that are noticing that the products only seem to have gone to the elites. Um, us everyday commoners don't get the privilege of her genetically labelled non retail food code following shady limited edition food product looks so amateur and as we go back to it yes it does it looks extremely amateur extremely tacky extremely basic and very cheap the label can't even be bothered to stay sticked on what's the freaking point right it's already given up on life now, Royal News Network, a great Twitter account to follow. And screw you, Elon. I ain't calling it X still. Says 100% it appears that Megzi is only interested in selling to the elites. Or that they're the only ones who are going to get these limited edition. And everyone else probably gets a mass-produced inferior version. Don't know the marketing strategy behind this, but it's awful. And yes, it is. Now, Colonel Kurtz, another one of my friends, if you're not subscribed to on YouTube, please do so. She's absolutely an amazing source when it comes to the justice for Marilyn Manson crusade. Uh, says, I truly think that American Riviera Orchard might be one of the most unbelievably lame and pretentious names for a brand imaginable. It sounds like a cheap scented candle brand at Walmart. Ah! Uh, must be frustrating for Megzi to keep reinventing herself and never be able to land on anything that actually really works. And there she's echoing Sharon Osborne a couple of weeks back, turning around and saying, Megzi's trying everything and it's not working. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot more people are recognizing that as well. Um, and so, yeah, Megan's Mo makes another appearance on this video because this I had to include. OMG, it keeps going from bad to worst. Uh, it's so tacky and basic. American Riviera Orchard uh, by the Duchess of Pitt States. <laughs> I thought that was just funny, so I had to include it here. But looking at Anna and what she says here at Anna Soft Sue, it says, McGay, Nero and a number jams, really? And... Yeah, here's another one of a close-up. And you can see here, again, the label's just not stuck on. It's just coming off. It's tacky, it's basic, it's cheap, it's amateurish. Uh, at Sage, 14 double one says, here we go, cheap labels coming off. This is what people were waiting for. <laughs> yeah, we were totally waiting for grade A product from Megzi. Yeah, totally. Yeah, great a failure. Uh, and again, you know, at Tribes Britannia saying, so Megzi's first product is a cheap jam of jar. Uh, cheap jar of jam when I get my teeth in, my gob, right? Uh, with the label peeling off. So many people are noticing that the label's peeling off, that it's not staying stuck on, that it's absolutely cheap and tacky. Royal Rogue, though, had to come in with some of the best memes of the moment, uh, saying, OK, hear me out. Caribbean style nutmeg jam. And then this other one that I had to include from the Royal Rogue, <laughs> orange and ginger fruit spread. <laughs> C, 
seriously, he is the king of royal memes. He is the baron of mid-journey. I bow down uh, to the royal rugs uh, skills when it comes to that. Uh, we've got Richard Eden jumping in uh, to the laughter and all of this. Uh, the diary editor and broadcaster for the Daily Mail saying, Megzi, where's my pot of jam? And you know what? I echo that question. Hey up, Megzi, where's my pot of jam? I like strawberry jam too, you know. I'd just rather my strawberry jam comes in a package that's not freaking falling apart. I'm, I'm just saying, right? Uh, but, you know, Royal News Network, going back to them, uh, makes a really, really good point. Uh, saying, so this is the first shot of her offerings. Looks like something you'd pick up at the farmer's market for better quality and for a quarter of the price. My suggestion, support small businesses and not a jobless, self-proclaimed American duchess. And Royal Daily Tea, uh, follow her at Royal Daily, uh, says, I prefer my strawberry preserve from High Grove House. At least proceeds go to charity. And you know what? When I saw this tweet from Royal Daily Tea, I went straight to the High Grove website and I ordered myself a strawberry jam. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And stay tuned, guys, uh, for the live stream either this week or next week, depending on when it comes, because I'll do a taste test live on stream uh, of the King's High Grove Jam, and I'll let you know what my thoughts are. But this is a thing, right? Yeah. Do you know what? I would rather get my strawberry jam from King Charles because I know that proceeds are going to charity rather than getting the strawberry jam from Megzi because the proceeds are going straight into a damn pocket. Uh, but yeah, guys, the first look at the first offering of Megzi's American Riviera Orchard. And it ain't gone according to plan, I don't think. With that being said, if you appreciate this video and you want more, believe me, of course, there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions on Megzi's jam, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters